Hello, my name is Tina, and I got this Metabo Bus 260 bandsaw. It's made for wood cutting, but I use mostly for cutting aluminium, brass and metal, and even for the wood here and there. All this cutting with same blade, so let's firstly check a few different blades I got. First one is the blade which come with the saw. It got 6 tooth per inch, and it's for wood cutting. It's really thin and flexible, but if you cut any non ferrous material on them, its sharpness will not last long. Then I got here 14 tooth per inch metabo blade for cutting non ferrous material. Also that is thin, but don't cut metal so good. This is 6 tooth per inch saw. So I order it from local guy who make blades by request. It's for wood cutting, but it's only 7mm wide, so I can cut small radius with it. And now the best saw local guy made for me to cut metal and non ferrous materials. It's called bimetal saw and got 6 to 10 tooth per inch. We can see here that the part of saw got 10 tooth per inch which cut metal better and the part of saw got 6 tooth per inch which cleaned the chips better. So like that we can find on every metal band saw and it cost about 15 euros. That saw cut non ferrous materials like butter but the sharpness not last long even if I cut aluminium only. I asked the guy who making saw about the problem and he said that my saw is too fast. Manuel said that the saw run at almost 700 meter per minute. Guy said that 300 meter per minute is maximum speed to cut non ferrous material. So I decided to lower down the saw speed. I'm sure you think now why not to buy metal band saw, it's become cheap those days. True, but I like that stand saw because of two reasons. First is that it takes much less space in my workshop and it can cut bigger aluminium plate, which can be cut on horizontal metal saw. And yes, it can cut radius too. Ok, that saw got a belt transition from the motor to saw wheel to lower down the RPM a bit. I find the same belt as a spare part from some other machine, so I got an idea to add another wheel to lower down the speed a bit more. I got all the parts home, so don't need to buy anything. I don't know if it work, but give it a try. I got the belt which fit to the saw wheel, all I need to make is two step wheel and install it on. Firstly I disassemble the part of saw to make measures if there are enough space to install another belt and wheel. And it looked like it will go. But during this assembly I noticed that wheel pulley got one of the groove failed. So the belt running out of groove all the time and it's already a bit deformed. So put the pulley into late and fix that issue firstly. Much better. Now I take a piece of 50mm aluminium and make two step wheel with groove for the belt. The wheel need to be somewhere there, but firstly need to make a hole for the axle and bearing slot. We can tension the belt with motor moving, but I need to tension also the other belt, so I make another belt tensioner and mount them to existing screw, which I replace with a bit longer one, and then make the wheel holder or tensioner. There's one more part I need to make before assembly, steel axis for the wheel. Now I can insert bearing into wheel and mark the location of it to make hole for mount the axle. When I try to mount it, show that the motor pulley slide to a tensioner, so I need to make additional cut on it. I'll tension that wheel with another screw from below, and that's one of two holes I drill into saw, so I can assemble into original condition anytime. Here I got the tension screw, and on wheel holder I add a piece of L profile, so I can tension the saw wheel belt with a nut.
first belt is tension. On second I need to repair the motor pulley a bit, but always got in plan to return back in normal condition. Now I can finally assemble all together as should be. And that's it, let's try to make some cuts. After first test look like I win. That piece of aluminium cut in a good minute. I didn't count before, but I think the cutting speed is quite similar than before. But the cutting part won't become so hot as before. And it cut more stable and calm. Before the modification big part like that become hot, grab the blade and start vibrating. Speed of the saw is now about 470 meter per minute, which is still far too much, but the difference is already huge. As I said it's not a how to video, but just want to make a test if I can cut something other than wood on that saw. So take a few stuff out of the drawer and spend a few hours to make this modification. I come to conclusion that I'm on the right way. I hope the saw will hold its sharpness a bit longer. Otherwise there's one more option, to order really big pulley and belt, and use a single belt from the small motor pulley to big wheel pulley. Actually that clips is more than 2 months old. So far I cut some aluminium, and the result is amazing. I still use the first blade signs the modification, everything still works and the cutting is much smoother, just need to cut with feeling, without pushing too much. I'm really happy with the result, if there will be need, I put on bigger bearings or buy single belt with bigger pulley, but for now it will stay as it is. And that's it for today, thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.